Does she think that we are better off in Kansas than America today with Joe Biden as president? Well, I'm not going to answer that question because for my entire time in the Senate and for my entire time in the governor's office, I have stayed focused like a laser on Kansas. Governor Laura Kelly and Attorney General Derek Schmidt squaring off in their final debate today. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Emily Younger. Jeff has the night off. Kelly and Schmidt are locked in in one of the nation's tightest governor's races. Today's debate covered some of the most pressing issues. KSN's Hannah Adamson joining me now tonight. Hannah, what is our political analyst saying about it all? Well, Emily Dr. Jeffrey Jarman says both candidates did a really good job of getting to the core of their message. They both spoke on abortion rights, the economy, at times agreeing on certain things while clashing on others. Now, Dr. Jarman says they both know what that core message is by this stage of their campaigns. Both candidates were good about staying on script. Neither one had a stumble that was dramatic or one that would change the outcome of the election. And with the election so close, today's debate didn't necessarily change the needle on which candidate viewers are voting for at this point well, and he says it certainly won't change the needle as to what key issues Kansans care about however it's more a call to each candidate's base to get them motivated as we head into these last few crucial weeks before the election one important purpose is to uh, rally supporters and, and build support but there are other important purposes of debates and those help us assess the candidates their character their ability to perform the job for governor for the people now Jarman did have one welcome. criticism of the debate the format of the debate itself each candidate only had 60 seconds to talk about their mission how they would change Kansas for the better the values that mattered most to them the responses overall had to be pretty short and sweet and Dr. Jarman says he hopes future debates will follow the lead of recent presidential debates Debates. That means six questions with 15 minutes, allowing for and encouraging more in-depth dialogue between candidates. Short answers in a, in a gubernatorial debate don't provide voters with enough information. They should, they should use that as a source, but certainly go research the candidates and the issues before they make a, a more fully informed decision. And be sure to stay with KSN News, your local election headquarters, for more stories as we head toward the November 8th election. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.